good afternoon, everybody. We're here with, uh, well, world famous, internationally known Pete Dye, who's uh, doing such a great job to improve the face of Roatan here uh, for so many people and probably for decades to come. Mr. Dye, thank you so much for taking some time for being uh, on the show here. Well, it's great to be here. I first came here, I think, in 1973. Then you all threw me out of here, so here I finally got back. <laughs> great, great. You know, uh, I know you just uh, walked the course, and I would love to hear from you your opinion of the course. I mean, of course, you're, you're, it's your design. You're building it. Could you walk me through it? Even if we go from hole 1 to hole 18, you don't have to stop at every hole. But I would love your, uh, your perception of the golf course. Well, right now, they just, they just start roughing in the golf course. And... Uh, if I could visualize what the final product would be, I'd be a genius, but I'm not a genius. I, so really right now, you, you just see the, the land and the topography of the land, and it's really good. And the views of the ocean are wonderful. And the whole the development, you can see, get a wild idea of what it's going to look like down the road. But to, to give you any conception of one hole or two holes, or when they're right now, they're, they're pushing the dirt around. And Perry's been down here, what, two or three years trying to get permits and, and get things started. In fact, they, they got it just cleared where you can walk it and see the ground. And, and the uh, topography, you don't really have a, uh, you have to clear it so you can see what's out there. But, but today we could walk all, all 18 holes and uh, see the obstructions and see the problems. And uh, now I'm trying to get the golf course put together and designed. And, and he'll keep coming back here many, many times and, and try, trying to get a golf course put together. But it, you can, I can see right now the, the general topography is really wonderful. They've done a good job, and they'll be in the, in the development around it. There's all above it, and they can see the sea. So that will be a really striking place one of these days. Tell us what your golf courses, what the, your, the courses are typically like, and what sets you apart. I'm not saying better or worse, but what sets you apart in your designs from others? Well, you know, golf courses started way back in the 1400s, and I don't think there, you can't find anything new that hasn't been done someplace in this world. And, uh, and uh, I don't know if mine are different or anything. Uh, I think, you know, what makes golf courses different is the, is the topography. Wherever you're building a golf course, like Pebble Beach, the 18th hole, is right on the ocean, and you see the waves, and the next thing out of pounds is Japan. Well, you could take that same hole and build it in Iowa, and nobody would ever heard of it. So it's the ambience of, of, of the, that makes the golf course. So here in Roatan, and, and you've got the sea and, and, the, and the hills and the topography, the ambience is really good here, so it's, if we don't, if we do a good job, it ought to be okay, because what you see around it is what makes the golf course. And you obviously have some different challenges here that you may or may not have in other islands. Can you tell me some of the challenges here that uh, both you anticipated and maybe some that you weren't able to anticipate? Well, I, I was out there looking today, and they've done a great job. Barry's done a good job. They're, all the runoff, a lot of the capture. And, they, and, they, and, and, and actually, the runoff going into the sea will be cleaner now with the golf course than ever before because uh, a lot of people don't think that, but it's true. And uh, they have, they've captured all the water in different lagoons, and they've got different wetlands they've created to uh, capture the water. But um, the water coming off the golf course, see, the main thing about a golf course, anytime you put a chemical on a golf course, you got to remember there's a golf course budget. So the superintendent, he's not putting anything down that, when there's a storm coming or anything like that, it's going to be run off. It's always absorbed by the plant. And a lot of people don't realize he, it's, he does a much better job because of the budget than uh, somebody does at their own home. <laughs> and, and tell me about the last golf course that you did and uh, how, you know, you, you, you obviously, as you go, you add things to the, the, the next golf course and the next golf course. What are we going to be able to benefit from that you've, already been through in other golf courses well you know the tournament players club in jacksonville when they are owned by the pga tour and they have their major championship the tour championship there every year i've been back there four times and rebuilt that golf course four times so there should be 72 holes and in the final golf course is nothing like the uh, the one we started with but uh some the grasses have changed you know on all the golf courses and the, and the and the way they cut the greens are so much different than they were just 10 years ago so um, everything changes. I mean, uh, uh, from when old Donald Roth built golf courses, they, the greens were cut at a quarter of an inch, and they had a stint meter, maybe five. Now they're, 
cut it uh, way down at a tenth, and and they have they roll so fast, you know, they think they're putting on linoleum, but that's all changed, and, and so you, you, I've had to change to uh, stay abreast with these young fellows that that uh, like Perry and everybody, they all know that uh, the, 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 the grasses have changed and everything's changed in golf. And I, Tiger's made the change. They made it yesterday again, I see. And Perry, can, hopefully when uh, you you come back to the island that we can uh, speak. But I'd like to speak to you know Mr. Oh. Dye here, but hopefully you'll come to the show when you're uh, when, as soon as you can to, to fill in the, the, the blanks. But I really do... We're obviously standing on the side of a road, which is just fine. Uh, just give me an idea. Summarize the golf course, the yardage, what people can expect. And the second question is, when can we expect a tournament there? You look at the wrong person right there. He's standing over yeah, there. <laughs> there was somebody with us today that wants to bring a tournament down here. And the senior, and it's, uh, senior sports people, but, uh, you know. Roatan's going to attract a lot of people. I mean, it, it already has attracted all the divers in the world. And, and so, so, I mean, there's definitely a lot of opportunity for different associations to come down here and play golf. The cruise ship business is quite zippled down here. Why we've been going through zoning. I've watched the ships double up in size and double in numbers. So, and, you know, they're coming over the hill, all of them, and taking a look. And, and you know, we've got the nursery in. We've got the green grass going. And, and so, so, I mean, it's, you know, it's definitely, it's come a long way. I mean, it's, we're... But we should happen to be in so closer to, uh, you know, I mean, provided we don't have a major hurricane this this fall, and so we should be playing golf and, and so no sooner than or later than December. So that sounds great, and I don't want to take up any more of your time. If there's no, anything no. else that you'd like to share with us, Mr. Dye, well, you know, it's, it's a great place, and and the weather's wonderful, and, and the people are great to work with down here. It's been fun, so it's been a lot of fun. Perry's done a great job down here, and he keeps coming back and forth, back and forth all the time, and. Uh, It'll be something out here one of these days. Great. Pete Dye, it's a, very, it's a pleasure meeting you. When will you be back to the island again? Any idea? Back all all Would I invite you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great. Very nice to meet you. Thank oh, you thank so you. much. Okay. We'll speak to you soon.